So there was no traveling this week. We were in Lake Conroe for week two of our stay. As of the posting of this video, we are one month into RV living. So at the end of this video, we're all going to share our opinions of what we think so far, how we're liking it, and the kids are going to be sharing their opinions too, so make sure you watch until the end. Yes? Hey, we're Herons on the Roam. We're a family of five who recently sold almost everything that we own to buy a truck and a fifth wheel camper to roam around the U.S. creating memories as a family. We plan to post weekly videos, so we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you can follow along on our journey. Hey, we're in Houston. I'd show you the big buildings, but I, don't, I honestly don't know where they are, but we are at Voodoo Donut Shop to get donuts, dairy-free options, so it's gonna be perfect. And then off to the zoo we're all excited about. When I say we all, me and the kids. Sia probably is too. Sarah is about tired of the zoos. I just wanted to go to Stennis or NASA. We're zoo people and we're going to one today. I want to be a zookeeper, Mom. He is probably excited. So we're at Zoo and Donuts. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you want. They had some vegan options. Yeah, I got some. So our little girl with dairy allergies can have them. And um, when you pick it up, Harper has maple cream and then just a chocolate ring glazed donut. The maple syrup icing and it's got Bavarian cream inside. Theo and Daddy and Lucas are having. Glazed rings. Theo absolutely approves. It's going quick. Lucas? Yeah? This is a caramel macchiato and it really is as big as it looks, like almost as big as my head. It's heavy. Really good. We made it after a 14 hour walk. Huh? Mm -hmm. So we're almost already dead and we haven't even walked through the zoo at all. It's gonna be awesome though. We all took a mental reset, right? So we're good to go. Theo, are we good to go? Tell the people what you think. Papa. Papa. That's Papa. So. Ice cream break. Is it ice cream? It's Dole Whip. It's Dole Whip, Harper said. Thank you. 
How was it? Great. Harper, Great. how was it? Great. Are you picking up rabbit poop? Nope. That's what that is. It is. I'm just joking. I don't know. It's some kind of berry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 You have a bite. I, I'm, I'm full. I finished. You want a bite, Dad? What's up, guys? We just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who's watched these videos, who's subscribed to the channel, and those that have liked these videos. We really appreciate it. It makes us feel good to know that people are keeping up with our story. And if you haven't, please do. Click subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified when we put up new videos. And like the video so that we know that you guys are enjoying it and it really helps the channel grow. Thanks, folks. See this? It's all gonna be backsplashed. Yeah. With this. Taking down some trim. Not necessary, but Sarah forgot to paint all of it. We hate painting. So anything to not paint. Mm -hmm. uh, just gonna let her keep going. I don't want to be responsible for a break. But if she breaks it, then we're free and clear. So she's still struggling. See this side? I got it right off. Because you don't have to no, cut it. No big deal. Got it right off. Got it right off. So it literally took me all day to finish a backsplash, but I think it was worth it. I really like the end product. It's going to be a lot easier to clean, I hope. Um, I got those tiles off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for anyone interested, but I'm really pleased with my after and I'm glad that I put in the work for it. I did the kitchen backsplash too, so I'm going to link that below too. Harper and I came to Whole Foods Market. Yes, in the woodlands to get her some dairy free treats. I got. She got plenty. Harper and I had gone to town to get my free Starbucks drink for my birthday. We decided to go to Whole Foods to get her some things too. And we had a blast trying those out in the truck. everything else get up make coffee take the dogs for a walk get on work most of the day sign off in the afternoons and then uh, you know watch TV maybe we'll play mini golf or swim or something like that but 90% but of the time just normal I think the main difference and the biggest benefit is that when we want to do something cool in the area, we're already there. Now, you know, if we want to do something, we can do it wherever we want. So that's really the main difference. Most of the time, it's just normal work, normal life. Not a lot to it. It's just awesome to be able to have, you know, really fun adventures, you know, in new places without having to travel really far to get there. I think that's been the biggest benefit so far. I thought it was gonna be bad. I thought it, would, it was gonna be fun, but I didn't really say, I didn't wanna go through the whole process of working and doing it all. I was gonna be miserable. I thought, well, not miserable, but 
I'm not a travel person, kind of a homebody. Super worried about work because I have to I have to be on every day. I don't have a flexible schedule. No alone time. For him, he means not yeah, us. Yeah, for me. So I was worried about all of that. Uh, and then the driving. Okay. I obviously was looking forward to this. But I was nervous how everyone else was going to like it. You know, I was scared because he obviously carries a lot of this burden with the driving and the not getting the alone time that he likes and, you know, being home with us in even smaller space than we already had been in. Obviously, his mood affects the whole family. So I was worried and I was swinging kind of back and forth between excitement and then just, you know, just worried about them. I like it. It's great. I've liked all the camp types so far. Yep. All of them have been really fun. All the nature and trees that you can climb. Yes, that and the cooking. The food's really good. I've had a little bit of a difficult time adjusting, I think. Um, I can't make the Walmart runs as often as I'd like to. Um, that's kind of how I recharge, is like getting out of the house. We, we're getting better, but getting everything organized in this place. I like everything to have a place, and I don't like stuff everywhere, and um, you know, that way I can clean. Aside from that, though, I'm loving. I mean, the kids are going outside, the kids are playing, the kids are spending time together. I mean, they're fighting because they're brother and sister, but they're spending time together. We're doing things that we wouldn't normally be doing. We're doing a lot of hiking. We're doing a lot of exploring. Um, I'm excited about what we've done, what we've seen, the different um, just environments that we've been in, the different nature. Driving through hill country has been amazing over here, and the things that we've seen. Um, so I'm excited about what's to come. Yeah, I think it's been good. I mean, none, well... I mean, the alone time is a problem, but really, if I just woke up earlier, I'd get some alone time already. The driving has been a pain, but we are getting better, and the way we've planned it out, I mean, we're not going to even have probably 30 travel days a year anyway, so even if it was horrible, it's going to be minimal. And then the other thing, work's been great. We've had no internet issues. And Oddly enough, the homebody thing has been great. It's been the opposite. Yeah. I think I may like the whole thing more than everybody else. And I think I was the most skeptical, mm -hmm. probably. So that's been a pleasant surprise. Yeah, Clint's definitely number one fan of this whole thing right now. Um, I'm, I'm right there behind him. And I'm not sure where the kids are. On one day, it's Lucas, and on one day, it's Harper. They're pretty close, and I think Theo just loves being with all of us, so he's happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, this one. Lake Conroe. Because this one, it has a lot of trees and deer. The other one, it had a lot of kids. It has a really, it had a really fun playground. It had a pool. It had a lake. We had to, we went swimming in the lake, and it was just really fun. It had all types of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. It's a close one between this one and the last one we were at. Okay, so two we haven't done videos on yet. The wildlife. I mean, the last one is the first time I've ever seen just herds of deer walking right next to you. Yeah. But then this one, they will literally just come within feet of you, like staring at you. And you can talk to them and they'll just... Hmm? We have lots so. of videos. Clint has lots and lots of videos on his phone. It's almost full. Uh, like a small kid in a candy <laughs> store. I just... Uh, big buck. We're like eight point bucks coming right up to you. You know, if I had a knife and was slightly quicker. Anyways. I'm just kidding. But it's been crazy, so I like it. Plus, our kids have discovered they can climb all these trees. So they've been actually outside by themselves climbing trees, getting all scratched up and dirty. And, and that is refreshing when yes. they want to just sit and watch YouTube and play games all day. So Yes. Turn the electronics off and go outside. Yeah. And they're doing it. So a few more own. days, this may be my favorite one. Yeah. We're behind the camper right now. 
this is our behind the camper and this is where the kids are spending a lot of their time so um i like this one i liked the last one i liked the one before that because we were close to the city and i could go <laughs> so i've liked everything the last three probably texas we're enjoying texas i'm really enjoying hill country now that we're over here it's gorgeous but um so i don't know i don't have a favorite favorite i like them all they've all been great for different reasons the camper size i thought it we were going to be all crowded and then all getting mad because it's so small all the time and we wouldn't get any peace and quiet but it's a lot better than it is than it looks it is when you look at the camper i thought it was going to be miserable because it's so small <laughs> It's really fun because the Halloween stuff is really fun. You just get to see not so much nature and trees and vines that you can climb. There's kids. It's really fun. RV life. I mean, I thought it was going to be good. All the getting rid So we got all the storage units and loaded those things down and all. And, uh... You know, how to get rid of so much stuff because you're moving into a small camper. And honestly... Mm -hmm. I thought that was going to be awesome in the first place. I would love to just, I could live in a tent if I had internet access and you AC. Know, and AC, I'd be <laughs> fine. So, and it's been just as great as I thought it was going to be in yeah. that regard. I mean, I've not missed, I haven't missed the space at all. We picked a camper. I was very particular about what we got. I wanted living room floor space and because I didn't want us all to be, you know, everywhere that we walked. I didn't want it to be a squeeze every time, you know, so we have that living room that's a decent size for a camper. We'll show you guys a tour eventually, but I don't, I feel like we're not, we don't feel cramped because we do have that big space and that's where obviously we're all in the main living area a lot of the time. I'm enjoying not having all the things to an extent. You know, there are a few things that we left behind that's like, oh man, I wish we would have had that. I'm enjoying not having so many things to deal with. And when we go home, we're getting rid of lots of things to not have to deal with. You know, we figured out there's some things that we brought that we don't need. And uh, we're probably going to fit in some more toys for the kids. And I, I think the only concern, future-wise, is that if we ever do move back into a house... Theo is going to be livid because he's got to where like this is this is what life yeah. is now so he's constantly outside shoes shoes every time he wants to go bye bye constantly yeah so which is nice because the other two kids got way too into electronics yes so having the littlest one just be yeah hiking I mean with he Daddy just rolls in the dirt that's what he does so yeah. It's been great, but if we ever go back to where we don't have this in our backyard, he's which is be not the pretty point. upset.